brand new whip got no keys period all right y'all what's up so today we are going to do a little mini car tour decorate my car whatever um i just got my new car obviously um it is a 2021 lexus nx 300 f sport i'm sorry i sound like a frog but like it's the morning and this is the way my voice always sounds like before like one o'clock so i apologize so yeah so just um is black on the outside and you can see like these two-tone like white seats which i love and then it's the opposite like contrast in the back so the seats are black with the white trim and i just really love that um so yeah we're just gonna do a little decoration a little chit chat about why i switch from my mercedes suv to this so let's get into it so first thing i'm gonna do is put my tassel up because none of this would have been possible <laughs> without my degree okay um and then so i got this little like key thing key fob thing please excuse my nail i broke it yesterday so this little key fob cover and i'm gonna put that oh my god if i can open it over my key just so that it looks cute and okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put this little key fob cover and i got all this stuff on amazon this is what it looks like it's just like a hard glitter like key fob cover i thought it was cute um, I'll link everything in the description in case y'all want to grab some of this stuff too. So, the main reason that I switched from my Mercedes truck to this, well, there's a couple reasons. So, oh yeah, this is super cute. And I see the Lexus emblem right here. Um, and then it has all the little icons so you can still see what buttons you're pressing and stuff. Oh yeah, it's not hard to press. Okay, that's cool. Um, the main reason was my Mercedes is a was a 2018, and German cars usually have a warranty of four years or fifty thousand miles. So I it is now obviously 2022. So I was ending the the I was nearing the end of my warranty period, and German cars are very reliable. Don't get me wrong. Um. I love Mercedes. I still have my my first one, my white one, my CLA. I will probably never get rid of that car because it has sentimental value to me. That was my first car, um, auto undergrad. I love that car. But I will say... Okay, my bad. My camera died and I had to get to the notary, so we're back. But what I was saying was the main reason um, I switched excuse me, from my Mercedes to this Lexus is because my Mercedes is a 2018 and it was nearing the end of the warranty period. And if you know anything about like German cars, they can get really expensive to repair outside of warranty. Um, and I'm going into my doctoral program. So like, I don't know, like I didn't know how long I was gonna keep the car to begin with, but I just didn't wanna have to worry about that. And because, um, <laughs> like, because it was a 2018, the tech was not as advanced as I would like. Um, right, yeah, so like, because it was a 2018, you know, a lot of the tech, it was not bad, but it was not as up to date as I would like. Like, I didn't have Apple CarPlay. Um, I didn't have, like, this car has, like, Alexa in it and just, you know, all the stuff that, like, most, like, cars or, like, pieces of technology have now. And I didn't have that. And, like, because I'm starting my doctoral program, like, hopefully I will be able to keep this car till the end of my program and then trade it in for whatever I'm going to get next. And Lexus has, like, the best warranty out of all the luxury cars, like, their powertrain warranty, which covers, like, all your big stuff, like, engine, transmission, like, time and belt, stuff like that, is six years or 70,000 miles. So with this being a 2021, I'll be good to the end of my program. And it's still under the basic warranty too, which covers like literally everything in the car, um, which is four years of 50,000 miles. 
so i will have that for another two and a half three years so it was just like i don't want to have to be i drive a lot so like reliability is like number one on the list for me so i didn't want to have to worry about a car as getting older and like might have some mechanical issues and like i'm out somewhere and like car starts tweaking or just like having to put more money in the car than it's worth so that was the other reason i um traded it in so yeah that was the other reason like why i wanted to switch it out um and also just like lexus has like one of the best resale values out of all luxury cars so i was just kind of thinking you know like i said three four years down the line when like i get my first like real job i would rather have something that i'm gonna get more resale value for so those were like the main reasons um also this car has a lot of safety features that's a really big thing for me because um i'm still young so like obviously i'm not super experienced driver and i was in a bad car accident like two years ago and since then like driving is, is still like i don't like to drive but i do have to drive a lot because of where i live so the safety features are like a big thing for me um like this car like reads the road signs and will start braking for you um has blind spot monitoring like lane keep assist collision assist parking assist you know just all them good safety features so like that was another um big thing for me with switching over and then obviously like i said it's a it's a 2021 it's just an it's a new car still under warranty it has a prepaid maintenance plan so just all that good stuff um was worth it to me to switch also i have a glc 300 that is a large vehicle for somebody with no kids like no nothing just me riding alone most of the time and this i do a lot of city driving so like this car although it's an suv it's more compact and like streamlined and it's honestly just easier for me to maneuver so that was the other reason why i just felt like i needed something a little more compact but that still gives me that like up high seating position it still has enough space back here you know like for me and my dog which is really just all to be in here so anyway yeah just a little background on why i switched um cars and i just think that this car like looks more youthful like the outside is a little more aggressive than my mercedes this inside with these two-tone seats i just really like i love the way that this car looks i really do love the way that this car looks so yeah okay so let's continue with the decorations um i got these little crystal like rhinestone things to go around my uh button and like this car also just has like other cool features like the lexus inform app is really useful um you know you can start your car from there stop it obviously lock it unlock it all of that um yeah it just I, I don't know to me it's just more practical um with the stuff that it has and like i said that's really just because it's newer and i did look at some new glcs i'm not gonna lie but it was really just the size for me like i already have a hard time parking and that truck was just too long so yeah and i also looked at the gla but like the gla was just too small like it's like a hatchback and it just it the the redesign like the old body style better it's just a little it looks like a i don't know it looks like a little like animal or something like a little ant eater on the outside so yeah let me show y'all this so this is the little thing you just put the sticky part around there first i'm assuming and then take this other side off it's like double-sided tape and then this is the little rhinestone ring just to give it you know a little pizzazz just stick that on there oh yeah that's cute so that's what that looks like just show y'all some of the other features um I've heated and ventilated seats. These ventilated seats feel so good in the summertime because, girl, it is hot. Um, 
this analog clock I love because it's lit up at night and I just love the way it looks looks super clean and classy um this is honestly this and and this car using the track pad I am anti-touchscreen because I am very anal about having fingerprints on screens that are visible but this and this are the reason that I went with the 2021 instead of the 2022 in addition to me getting a like I I this car I was able to save maybe like 10 grand getting it a year um certified pre-owned so that was nice but like I said I love the analog clock I feel like that's a luxury car staple I wish they would put them back and um yeah so let me just go ahead and turn the car on so you have this nice like eight inch screen if you get the one with um navigation it has an 11 inch screen or 10 inch screen but like i just didn't feel like that was necessary because i just use apple carplay so here is where you control everything and if you go to menu then you have all your apps and here's like the alexa and stuff like that which is really nice it works really well um and then this is like your voice control it's like just to show you all press that change the temperature to 65 degrees changing to 65 degrees so like it'll change it for you which is really nice i found it to be really really nice while i'm driving to not have to like press buttons and then this is like your some of your safety features the lane keep assist the collision assist over here is like the blind spot monitoring, the heated steering wheel, the auto brights, which I turned off because these LED headlights are plain bright for me, um, but you can turn that on if you want your auto brights. And just like it has the trim over here, the white trim. Um, obviously the seats are white and black in the front. This is really nice leather. Like, Lexus just makes really well-made cars. Like, my dad only drives Lexus, and honestly, I see why, because they're just really well-made. And then in the back, it's the same, but with the black and white trim and the contrast on the side there. Okay, so now that we got my little key fob thing, the next decoration that I got, I didn't want to make it look tacky with, like, too much different bling and stuff, but just you know a couple of those things that are functional so um the next little thing that i got is these cup holder coasters and they are lined with rhinestones but these are like a really good like rubber material so i'm just gonna put these in the cup holders because your girl be at starbucks every morning okay and i don't want i have a really hard time keeping my car clean like to keep it hundred with y'all but i'm really gonna try to do better um with this car keeping it clean so just to keep like you know the gooey like stuff for my tea and like any water that spills so these look really cute let me show y'all so these are little cup holder inserts so you just literally stick them down in there and i think the rhinestone is like a nice touch and it goes with like the black and the white that we have going on in the car in general um so yeah so a couple other things um about this car like it has like a kick um, lift gate for the trunk, which is really, really nice. Cause if your hands are full, you don't have to worry about like trying to open your trunk. You just kick underneath and it opens. Um, it also has keyless entry and exit, which I fell in love with in my Mercedes, which is basically like, as long as your key fob is on you, you can just open the door like with your hand and you don't have to worry about popping a lock or anything and then you just literally tap your hand against the the door handle and it locks it sounds like a little thing but like it makes it so much more convenient if you don't have to be fumbling with keys or anything like that or if, like i said your hands are full you don't have to worry about anything or just like when it's cold you don't have to try to take your your hand you know out of your pocket or whatever you just do that and the mirrors that has power folding mirrors and everything it also has easy entry exit so basically like when you turn the car off like turn the car off you see how the steering wheel just went up and like how i slid backwards to make it easier for you to get in and out of the car and then when you turn the car back on see how the steering wheel goes down and it like slides you forward and it has memory seats and like memory uh, steering wheels. So it'll 
just slide you back into whatever position like you want it to be in that also seems like a little thing but it is really nice and has made it really comfortable for me getting in and out of the car and not like hitting my head on anything like or anything like that so what else do i have in here this is a sunglass holder um I, your girl does wear glasses at night i cannot see so i just got this little black rhinestone sunglass holder um it goes with the rest of my rhinestone theme i got going on here i did not get the uh white one with well like with like the clear rhinestones just because it is going against the top of my car which is black so i just felt like it would match better um with it being black so let's just stick this on and show y'all what it is this is what it looks like up here just a nice glasses holder so i'm gonna go ahead and put my glasses in there i'm sorry y'all i'm recording on my phone so this is a little bit difficult i'm gonna just stick my glasses in here so that i can have easy access to them um let's see what else is in here? okay so the last thing and probably the most practical thing that i got is this trash can so it like attaches to the floor with this like i said i have a really hard time keeping my car clean and i honestly think it's just because i spend too much time in my car i get dressed in here i eat in here i just do everything in my car um so i'm gonna try my best to keep this car cleaner than i have kept my cars in the past so i'm gonna just attach this right here behind my seat the carpet so that i'll have a trash can so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed um my little car tour and this video was a little all over the place so i apologize but i just wanted to get this video up and out and thank y'all for watching and i make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'll be back soon